Hey, uh, what's going on? This is Ed Fletcher, and uh, I'm uh, talking about race and stuff um, in response to the Justice for George protests and uh, trying to be helpful to the, the community. Uh, with, with that said, most of you know who I am. If you're just coming to this, uh, I did want to give a little bit of background. One qu Nope, this way. Before I jump into the topic of the day, um, please do continue to, to wear a mask. Uh, whether that's at a protest or going to restaurants or around town. It's it's extremely important and uh, I, I fear the side that's being influenced by the White House is influencing other people to not wear a mask because uh, other people aren't. But you know each everybody's got to make a difference themselves and continue to wear a mask especially when you're out and about and, and going around town. Okay, um, that said, wanted to address a few topics, um, and mostly about the, the pace of change and, and everything that's been happening in America. But uh, first I wanted to talk briefly about the, the state of the free press and how we're all learning this, and uh, thank my uh, sponsor, uh, Fred Lamora, for making me another shirt. Fred has uh, hooked me up with a, a slate of, uh, of shirts. This one, you don't get a free press for for free and um tell you a quick story but not to make this about me but somebody in my feed who happens to be a, a lincoln city council person is getting annoyed about the issues i'm bringing up and the topics of conversation we're having and in the thread about the john sutter statue come down he posted that oh a lot of self-promotion in this um and basically accusing me of trying to uh, capitalize on the situation for my personal gain. Um, I didn't choose this situation. I've personally coming to this as I think as a service to the community and for those who want to um, support me. I thank you and I say uh, F off to the good councilman from Lincoln. Um, but there's lots of other places, people, that you can support if you're valuing information like this. Black Zebra Productions is on the ground uh, every day. Um, and of course, the Sacramento Bee, News and Review, and other legacy products are, are struggling and could use your support. Hey, Cindy, what's going on? Um, so yeah, so if you see valuable information, you're going to have to support it. Um, in this day and age because you don't get a free press for free. On to the, the other major topic is just the, the pace of change around here. And you've seen things that I, I didn't think would happen for, for years or decades. And, and it's suddenly kind of like a, a leap forward where one day we see the John Stutter statue being removed. And the next day we're talking about the Christopher Columbus statue uh, the Aunt Jemima brand is going away. And and you see some people who react to this and say, why are we trying to throw away all this history or hide this history? We need to preserve these things. This way, buddy. I, I would say to that is, is that, you know, we need to be more selective in, in who we glorify and who we raise up as champions. It's not to say that we shouldn't know who John Sutter is and to appreciate the positive things he did, but we also need to recognize the negative things we did and to also celebrate the other people that aren't being celebrated as much as the colonizers who were the first to um, steal the land. I would also ask those who have serious concerns about moving the statue is why you you care so much. Why is that important to you that that statue is there and also examine how other people's experience has been with that statue. Um, I think if you imagine the average white person that in every era of history, um, things were, were relatively good. Um, but I, when I was doing uh, a history project in, in high school, a, a decades project, and I started thinking about 
well, where was I during those decades and what costumes were available to me when we played uh, dress up? And those answers are very different for, for African Americans that like we weren't um, in the same roaring 20s that you were in. And in the 40s, we were at a different place and we weren't allowed to eat where you were eating. Um, so history is different for different people. And I think this is a period of time we're asking um, the majority population to think about the, the others and think about how other people have been impacted by this history. Uh, it's not all uh, about you. And, um, and suddenly in this time, the, um, the, the groups of minorities are sort of banded together to um, demand justice in this Justice for George case. But then in a more collective way, you also saw these important rulings in the Supreme Court on uh, LGBT rights and um, the, in the workplace. And you saw today the, the Supreme Court decision um, on DACA. And um, I think from in the last four or five years, I think, um, minorities and uh, LGBT people have been taking a lot of lumps uh, from this administration and um, it feels good that suddenly uh, our, our voices are being heard a, a little bit more and the courts have found in our favor. I, I think it's very interesting that John Roberts has sort of swayed towards the center or is at least um, siding with law and order or rule of law in um, in these cases. And, and I don't think that the DACA is a, a perfect solution to what the Supreme Court did, but at least found that um, you need to do things the right way if you're going to change, uh, make law in, in America, and that doing things the right way still means something. So that's heartening. Um, but the big questions will be answered um, in this election, and if we can see a um, smooth, orderly change of, of power or orderly change of government. That's the beauty of the American system, that um, people can uh, make their voices heard on the streets and in the ballot box. And so uh, hopefully this movement turns into a tangible action, and, and we're seeing people trying to do that, and I would encourage you to figure out ways that you can uh, turn um, energy and excitement into tangible action. There's been um, conversations happening at the city council level, there's been conversations happening at the uh, school board level, and there'll be ha conversations happening in, in companies. And um, it's incumbent upon you to use your voice now to, to help make those changes from sports to politics to government to uh, business. Um, make your, your voice heard, and uh, thanks for watching. Uh, Darla says hi. Hey, buddy. All right. Thanks a lot. Check you later.